Well, hey, YouTube, it's Elvis Ammo here. Hey, today I am testing this slug right here, seven eighths ounce slug. And uh, what I've done is I used a 20 gauge case to put a driving band on it. And I cut the top of the wad off, set it on the wad just to use it as a gas seal. So this uh, this band is, uh, you know, for all intents and purposes, the size of my four. And um, I'm using a, uh, uh, what I call a improvised choke. Uh, uh, not an improvised, an improved cylinder. Sorry about that. And uh, so it's basically almost nothing for uh, improvised bore. Uh, and uh, I'm using, uh, I'm shooting, first I'll be shooting a uh, Remington hole, and then I'll be shooting a top flight federal hole, and we'll just see if there's any difference. This is the, uh, this is the slug. That's what it looks like. Uh, and just for test purposes, I used 30 grains of long shot. So let's take a look and see what it does. I'm gonna make uh, both shots, and then we'll walk down and look at the target. I have high hopes. Let's see if I'm correct. So there's that. I'll just set it up here so you guys can look at it. And here we go. First, uh, first off is the Remington. I am at 50 yards and I'm using a 27 inch barrel and uh, smooth bore. So there we go. That one's next. This is what it's gonna look like. Just like that. And I'm going to be shooting for uh, a square of blue tape down there on the first target low. That's uh, the lowest target toward the top of it, uh, off to the left of it. And the second shot's going to be uh, just to the right of the bottom target, uh, the upper portion. Here we go. Felt just fine. And it looks good. I don't see any kind of problems, which I didn't expect. And now for the second. So that one was uh, a bit lighter. Uh, yeah, that one wasn't wasn't very good at all. I got some powder in that one. Let's go down and look at the target, and we'll figure out what happened on that other one. Very poor ignition on that second one, but the first one felt wonderful. Okay, that's really good, guys. Um, that's that's where I hit, and that's at uh, 50 yards with just a bead sight, guys. Oh, <laughs> it's just a bead sight. aiming here and I shot right there uh, this has got some promise I'd say uh, and there's a really good chance that I threw that one off but um, we'll be trying some more with these uh, man I'm I'm pretty impressed that looks like a, a perfect <laughs> a perfect hole that thing looks like it was definitely moving forward you know so well, wow. <laughs> um, I'm good with that. that. That's where I'm at right there. So we're talking one, two, three, four, five, maybe six inches away from my aiming point, which probably sucks. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> so there we go, guys. Uh, I'll uh, 
we'll figure out what went on. I had a very poor ignition with the, uh, with the, with the federal, uh, but it did hit right here and I was aiming right there. So we're literally two inches away. I don't know what the deal was with the poor ignition, but take a look at that hole right there. Um, it's a pretty successful test. Uh, might have been, might have had something to do with my primer because my primers are extremely old. I'm just going to throw that out. I probably should have made some more rounds for the sake of consistency. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up. Please go ahead and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And if you want to support me on Patreon, get over there and click the link. Become a member. We're giving stuff away over there. See you in the next video.